Welcome to the New Mexico Operating Permit System, also known as NMOPS, user tutorial videos. This video will guide you through the steps for ordering a temporary fuel permit, trip tax and fuel permit, or trip tax permit at permits.dot.state.nm.us. This and other tutorial videos can be found on the login page via the tutorial videos and guides link. Please note: temporary fuel permit, trip tax and fuel permit or trip tax permits are for legal size loads and do not require trailer or load dimensions to be entered during the permit process, therefore making the ordering process much easier and faster for the carrier. Secondly, if the carrier has an active weight distance account with the state of New Mexico for the VIN being permitted, a trip tax permit is not needed. To order a temporary fuel permit, trip tax and fuel permit, or trip tax permit, click the New Permit button NM Ops will display two options. If you are unsure which permit you need, click I need help choosing the permit, and NM Ops will display the permit wizard, which will ask you a series of questions, and based on those answers, NM Ops will recommend the permit that best fits your need. If you know which permit you need, click I know which permit I need, and NM Ops will display the order permits screen. This screen will display all your contact information that will print on the permit being ordered. Be sure to enter any updated contact information if it is different from what is being displayed. The primary delivery method is how you would like your permit delivered. Choose Web Download to get the permit directly from the dashboard, choose Fax to have the permit faxed, or choose Email to have the email sent to your inbox. Company Reference is an optional field on the permit application that enables users to associate a permit to a particular job, job number, or other internal tracking. This option is not required and has been provided as a service to NM Ops companies. If information is entered in the Company Reference field, you will be able to search on that information for all permits associated to that reference. Select the Temporary Fuel Permit, Trip Tax and Fuel Permit, or Trip Tax Permit from the Permit Type drop-down list. Once the permit type has been selected, clicking in the From field will display a calendar. This will allow a start date to be selected. Based on the type of permit, the To field will be automatically populated. Click the Next button to proceed with the permit application. The Truck and Load Information screen will display. This screen allows the user to enter vehicle information. If vehicles are already saved in company data, a vehicle can be chosen from the Vehicle Inventory drop-down list. NM Ops will populate the known information about the vehicle into the associated fields. If there are no previously uploaded vehicles, the vehicle information will need to be entered manually and can be saved from your vehicle inventory upon selecting the Next button to move on to the next screen. The Enter a Route screen will be displayed. This is where the origin and destination will be selected and entered. There are several ways to enter your origin and destination, such as address, intersection, border crossings, Latin long on map, and road and mile marker. For routes only passing through New Mexico, the origin and destination will always be a border crossing. There are additional tutorial videos on the login page with more in-depth routing instructions. For this permit, we will choose Border Crossing from the Origin drop-down list and then select I-10 El Paso, Texas line from the second drop-down list. Choose Border Crossing from the Destination drop-down list and then select I-10 Lordsburg, Arizona line from the second drop-down list. If ordering a temporary fuel permit, trip tax and fuel permit, or trip tax permit, enter the main leg gross weight in the text field. Please note that the minimum weight you can enter is 26,000 pounds. If the vehicle is under this weight, you will not need this permit. The maximum overweight you can enter is 96,000 pounds. Anything over this weight will require an oversized overweight permit and you will need to cancel this permit type and start a new permit adding the fuel to the oversize overweight permit. Once the origin and destination have been entered, click the Validate and Run button to generate a route. The system will create the quickest, safest route available.
The origin is marked by a green letter O bubble. The route is a blue line. And the destination is marked by a red letter D bubble. The map can be moved by clicking and dragging. Users can also zoom in or out on the map by using the scroll wheel on the mouse or in the plus and minus icons located in the upper left corner of the map. The legal dimensions used during routing, a route description displaying miles, the turn-by-turn -turn directions, and distance are all listed under the routing map. If there are any problems with this route and the application needs to be reviewed, click the I have a problem with this route and I would like it reviewed checkbox located above the map. In the empty text field, type the requested route and the reason the request for an alternate route is being made. This will send the permit application to the permit office for review. Clicking the Next button will display the permit fee summary screen where the permit, the unit with the fees, and all entered information should be verified. Click Submit to proceed to the Permit Submission Successful screen. From this screen, another permit can be ordered. Or click the Return to Dashboard link to return to the company dashboard. If this permit is self-issue and not submitted for review, click the Pay for Permits Now button to proceed with the payment. If the permit is not self-issue, the Pay for Permits Now link will not be available. Verify the permits listed for payment are those that were selected for purchase. Click the Pay for Verified Permits button to select and enter the payment options. Select the payment method of credit card from the drop-down list and click the Submit button. You will be redirected from NM Ops to the credit card processor site. Continue processing through the payment screens, entering the required information. Please note that while the credit card payment is processing, do not use the forward or back buttons on your browser. A copy of the receipt will be sent to the email address provided. The Issue Permits screen will display when the payment transaction is complete. To view the permit, click the Permit Number hyperlink. This will display the permit in a PDF file to print or email as needed. The permit will also be delivered via the delivery method selected during the order permits process. From this screen, users can return to the dashboard or order another permit. On the company dashboard, verify the permit is displayed with the status issued. The permit can be accessed from the permit number hyperlink on the company dashboard. Click on the permit number hyperlink. Any routing and special instructions will be printed on the permit PDF, along with turn-by-turn -turn routing directions and distance of travel. This concludes the NM Ops user tutorial video on ordering a temporary fuel permit, trip tax and fuel permit, or trip tax permit. Thanks for watching, and don't forget more videos are always available for your convenience.